So what we're showing here are a range of nanotechnologies. First of all, we have a super hydrophobic nano coating. So we've applied this to the Nokia 700. We've added a layer of nanostructures and they trap a thin layer of air at the surface. So when a water droplet is on the surface, it can't penetrate that air layer and spread out on the surface. It just sits as a ball on top of the nanostructures. Below the super hydrophobic phone, we have a sensor that's made using graphene. Graphene is a single layer of carbon atoms and will enable transparent, stretchable and flexible electronics. When I apply a drop to the super hydrophobic phone, it will completely slide off and hit the sensor and that will trigger the high speed camera which is behind. Uh, put the drop on there, so that triggered the camera and we can play it back on this monitor here. So let's scan forward, find where the droplet comes in, rewind and then play that back in super slow motion. What we can see is that as the water drop comes in, in a minute, did I press play? Then it, it spreads out on the surface because of its inertia. But because it doesn't want to interact with the surface, it wants to minimize its contact area and it forms, comes back into a bead-like shape. If we can apply that to the exterior and the interior of the phone, then we can go some way towards making the phone water.